Those plastic bags at the grocery store, it could start to cost you 25 cents. Yeah, all in an effort to pay for more affordable housing here in Colorado. Allison Zimmerman tracking the new tax proposal in your Capital Watch tonight. So how would this uh, work, Allison? Yeah, Robin Elizabeth, for some places in the state, this is nothing new, though. Some places have already banned plastic bags completely. Think of mountain towns like Telluride or even Crested Butte. And then there are some places that do charge a fee for plastic bag use, and those are in places like Boulder and Breckenridge. Still, some people I talked to in southern Colorado today had mixed reactions. Affordable housing is something many people across the state can agree is an ongoing challenge. Affordable housing is the single most important priority need in this community right now. With what seems like an ongoing rise in rents and a not so equivalent rise in income, during this legislative session, there are a couple of bills on the table to address this concern. But one of those solutions is getting a lot of attention. I think it's a bad idea. It would actually be, I agree, I would agree for it. For 25 cents each time you go to the grocery store, lawmakers say will go towards a fund to affordable housing. But for some people, the cost for not using one of these takes things too far. I don't think that it helps the problem. Uh, the government meddles in too many things that should be individual decisions. The tax would be a single quarter each time you visited the grocery store using plastic bags, unlike in some places in the state, which charge per bag used. We actually do, we go through and we actually recycle the the bags that we get from like Walmart, King Supers, and it's amazing how much actually accumulates. For one of the sponsors of the bill, Representative Paul Rosenthal, he believes this bill would take care of two concerns. It's a good social purpose, and then we're compounding the social purpose by putting money into affordable housing for people who are struggling. The bill also provides exemptions for restaurants, small businesses, and low-income individuals. Now, in order for this to happen, it would also require a statewide vote to pass. But first, it would have to make its way through the House and the Republican-controlled Senate. The bill is being looked at in a few different committees in the State House, and we'll continue to track its progress. Back to you. Allison, thank you.